fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Saturday the 16th of April 2022. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying your weekend. If you're having a long weekend, make the most of it. Um, enjoy life. Uh, we should always do that, right? Um, this is the New York Times hard level game, our regular game on this channel. Um, and uh, as soon as I see something of interest, meaning an actual number that I can place, then I will let you know about it. As of now, though, I have not seen any numbers. Um, although uh, for newcomers to the channel, you should note that I don't look at the grids before switching on the camera. Um, so uh, it's a real time kind of thing. Hmm. Um, well, I've seen some pairs, quite a few of them, um, but I'm not seeing any places to firmly fixed digits why not why not why not why not oh good grief <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't believe there are any easy ones uh, available. Oh, right. So I've got to uh, look at it in a rather different light, I guess. I didn't actually see any kind of uh, naked pairs either uh, in my roam around, meaning while I was looking around. Um, oh dear. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to have to go with candidates right from the beginning. Um, it's too hot here for me to <laughs> put in the energy to uh, try and play this game without um, candidates. And there are a lot of pairs around, so I'm sure there's stuff there, but I just can't see. I'm going to go with the Snyder technique from the beginning, from the outset. Okay. So my uh, brief apologies to those people who prefer the games to go as far as possible um, without notation, but I'm just not going to get anywhere at the moment. Oh, I'm not, I should say I am not getting anywhere. Ah, oh, found something. Two's two, so that's two across there. And two across there. Oh, finally, okay, there we go. Got number two here then. So after filling in those twos, you can see this is the only uh, possible location for a two. Um, do we have to go back to ones or not? So no, it's not going to matter down here, is it? Okay. So let's try the threes. Then we've got a pair of threes up there. Threes down here. Uh, fours are a pair here and across here. Um, fives are somewhere in that strip and a pair here so 
sixes go there. There's a six. Oh, there was an easy number. There we go. There was a six down here. I didn't see a six blocking and across. So was that the only easy number? I think it was the only one that I certainly have seen so far. I didn't notice any other easy ones. Sixes go there now. <coughs> six somewhere there. Pair of nines over there, pair of nines down here. And is that it really? Wow. That is a tough game then, isn't it? Um hmm. really. I was thinking uh, I probably, you know, messed up. There's probably a lot more easy numbers, but I uh, just haven't noticed them. But maybe it's it's actually a tough game. Twos, threes, nine. Wow. Okay, it really is <laughs> like that. So, okay, maybe it's good that I actually started with the uh, candidates then, because otherwise it could take forever. Um, hmm. well, we've got a few um, pencil marks here. Maybe I'll start here and let's look at this right hand side. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, in fact, already. So, seven blocking up here. Let's put in the sevens there. Um, eights block here and across here like this so let's put in eights in those squares and then nine blocks here like that so we can put nines there anything useful within the block I think so uh, we'll go up here ones then looking like this uh, threes block across like this Oh, is that a pair? That is a pair of threes there, actually. Okay. Any news on four? I think we don't know anything about four. Uh, seven blocks across here and up there. So, ah, that's a pair of three and seven. How come I missed that? Okay, this is a pair of three and seven. It means that I have to get rid of the candidate four there. And here I have to get rid of the candidate four and the one and the two. Okay, so now we're left with one, a pair of one and four here. So this has to be a single two. And that's sorted that out rather well, hasn't it? The two goes there and we know this is an eight and this is a nine. And let's get rid of those nines there and then nine across here and across here. And the nines go here and this is a nine here and this is not a nine. See, when I play with candidates, it's a lot easier for me to understand what's going on on the board rather than just trying to remember and memorize this kind of stuff, which I'm not particularly verse, well versed at, to be honest with you. Right then. Uh, let's have another quick look just in case uh, more can be done.
Okay, we've got a pair of eights there now, so now we have a pair of one and eight, which is good. Um, so when this six blocks up here, we know that that has to be a six. If I choose the right mode, I can put it in, and that means that this will be a six up here, and this will not be a six. And this will not be a six here. Let's remove it, and let's place our permanent six there. And down here, a six. And well, over here, a four. Let's do that immediately. And over here, not a six. Ooh, excuse me, I added a five by mistake instead of removing the six. Six is done. Let's see four now. Um, so we get a pair of fours up here now. Um, okay, now we know one and eight is here, so these have to be five and seven. Okay, so this five is no longer true. Okay. Now, if this is five and seven, what's this going to be? Yeah, five, seven. But it can't be five here. So that's got to be a seven. That's got to be a five. This will be a seven. This is a four, then this is a five, this is a seven. Seven up here, three up here. Pair of threes over here now. Pair of threes down here as well. That means that three is in the middle over here because we're looking at top and bottom, top and bottom rows. So middle row in this third block in the chute. Um, uh, this has got to be one off four because this is one off four. I can't tell which is it. What's the remaining number here? Oh, it's also oh, one and then a. F uh, what am I doing? This can't be right. Four can't be right, can it? That's a one. That's a four. That's better. So missing number down here is a four. That's more like it. Missing number here is a one. Seems to be logical. And the final number here is a uh, three and uh, eight. Okay. Right. Missing number across here is a uh, five. I think we've got an intersecting five here. So this will be our five. This will be our three. This is not a three. Um, fives now blocking down and across here so this is a pair of fives in those squares um, we have one blocking across here we have one blocking down here so we know this is a pair of ones here I just said that's a pair of fives, so in fact the nines can be removed from there, leaving us with one and five. This has to be a nine now, it's the only place a nine can go. This is now a three for sure, so this is our three, and let's remove candidate three from there. Um, okay, it's looking very neat and tidy now, isn't it? No problems, I think. Uh, this four means, in fact, that this is not true. And the four must go here, four across here, four across here, and four up there. Gives us a four in that square. I'm just going to put a pair of fours down there. Um, one blocking across here, one blocking up here. This is a one, this is a two, this is a two, this is not. Uh, it is, in fact, an eight, which is what we need to fill that. That will become an eight. This will be an 8 down here, and the last number we need here is a 7. 7 blocking across here and across here puts a 7 into that square, uh, which means this is a 7, this is a 5. This is the only place for a 4 now, so 4 in this square, 9 in this square, puts a 9 here, and not a 9 there. Um, one digit missing here, which is a 1 which puts a 1 in that square, 8 in that square. This must be 8. This will be a 3. This is a 8. Our 3 means that that's not true. 3 will be here. 
and um, our one blocking down here means this is a one giving us a five in that buy value cell one in this one five will finish the game okay uh, once uh, with with uh, so a with candidate solution is very simple uh, without candidate solution well you need to be paying attention right and I really wasn't <laughs> I missed that I missed the three and the seven up here which is how to get started if you got started like that maybe certainly I guess you could have done it without um, notation but it would have taken a bit longer I guess okay that's it thank you very much bye bye